week, our next celebrity spectacular plank had people at home tying themselves in knots. Well, tonight he is back on solid ground dancing. The Paso Doble, it's David Whelan and Salome Chachua. <laughs> This was the perfect contemporary ballroom for me. And honestly, at this point, you are leaving me really short of words. That was outstanding. <laughs> it was. Turn! <laughs> So this week we are dancing the Paso Doble to Led Zeppelin. Hola, love. Oh, yes. Yes, let's go. I actually played this song to Sloan May when we first met, and I was like, if we can do any dance to this, please, 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 let's do it. It's going to be ridiculous. The Paso Doble is very powerful and very epic dance. There's a lot of movement, there's a lot of aggression. I feel like there's a ball, and I'm about to get in the ring with it. Da, 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 da. When you do slow, you need to run as a bullet there. The stance is key to this dance. It's all about the body language. So you have to feel it from your legs all the way up into your upper body, and then it has to end in your eyes. So it is aggressive, but at the same time, you need to be very calm, because champions, they are always calm yeah. and concentrated. Champions. I think I'm lucky I'm doing the Paso this week, because you have to fight now to get into the semi-finals and the Paso is the dance of a fighter. So I'm going to go full out this weekend. Dancing the Paso Doble, David Whelan and Salome Chachua. It was gorgeous. I think at one point I saw Arthur do this. <gasps> so let's go to Arthur first. Are I you OK? Breed. David, I have a whole lot of love for you because <laughs> you are ridiculously wow. I mean, that yes. opening on your own in the beginning, at the beginning, with your arms, it was so spectacular. It's simple but so effective. I loved it. You know, I think Salome kept this spectacular dance for a special occasion, and I'm so, so happy you did Paso Doble in quarterfinals. Paso Doble is known to be fast, intense dance at times, but with your strong knee spins, your walks, you make it like looking in the walking in the park, to be honest <laughs> with you. I personally think you have dance flowing in your DNA. Okay. Yeah. Do you agree? Do you agree? Bad, eh? Bad, yes, absolutely. A great male Pasadoble dancer has to be able to do one thing, and that's combine the masculine with the feminine. The masculine side of things comes from the body shape and the forward projection of the hips. In that regard, I mean, there was so much machismo off that I could smell it from here. Um, when it comes to the feminine, 
It's the use of the hands, the fingers, mm. the articulation that just takes the edge off that. And you did that immaculately Ooh. also. It's a really strong start to this Paso Doble. And probably 90% of it I was really thrilled with. The odd moment here or there, I just think you needed to find balance a little earlier, just to give her a breath. But what a Paso Doble. Thank what you. What a Paso. Well done, Salona. Oh, for me, David, straight at the beginning there, your solo moment. It was absolute matador. The body angles, it was like you had prepared this suit of armor. And then, of course, Salome arrived, and then it became the jewel. You could just feel it coming, the energy from both of you. Great traditional steps, but of course, with Salome, the creativity comes in. She lies on the floor, you take the ankle, and it's a flip and a twist, which is absolutely excellent. I go with Brian here. I would just like a moment, a breath, to just expand, to create a little bit more of a circular, leave us waiting for a second more and then hit us again. It's fabulous what you do. Thank Super. You. There we go. David Angelone! <laughs> David, safe to say you're a teeny tiny bit out of breath. Yeah, I, I chose the worst song <laughs> ever. I don't know why they let me pick a song, but... Uh, yeah, that was a tough one. Why did you choose that song? I just love that song. Yeah. I have the same friends since we were kids, and that's our song. Like, really? Every, yeah, every party we put that on at, like, sometime in the morning. Oh. And, uh, <laughs> and, yeah, that's just our go-to. So I know I haven't told them, so I know they're all sitting at home now, and I guarantee I'm going to have loads of messages going, what the hell? But, oh. uh, Arthur said it was ridiculously well. You made it look like a walk in the park. Did it feel like a walk no, in the park? No, it didn't. It felt like, like sprinting up hills. But, uh, no, we really enjoyed that one. It was fun, it was very aggressive and strong, and I think they're the ones that we love the most, so. Absolutely. Yes. It feels like when the music is right, Salome, David really gets into yes. it. He is, and also that music is very complicated. And it was really hard routine and hard well, week, I mean. Yes. But did it great. Thank you. Like, absolutely great. Um, okay, just a little topic change for a sec. You guys are Team Jen. How, oh, how, yeah. how has she been as a captain this week? Oh, Jen is the best. Is she, yeah. Honestly, Jen is the best. Yeah. I've never met someone as great as Jen. Right. Um, you are the uh, best. You know this is my box. We're in my box right now. I love you too. I love you too. Thank I love you, David, you too. Thank I love you. you. The scores are in. The judges have their scores. Brian Redmond. Nine. Yes. Lorraine Barrett. Nine. Arthur Gurren This is ridiculously wow ten. <laughs> Salome dance again next week. You can text David W to 53125 once we declare the voting lines open later in the show. Don't vote before then as your vote won't count, but you will be charged and you'll go off the deep end altogether. <laughs> it's David and Salome. Woo! Woo!